Okay, so I want to welcome you to this demo of Zappable. For this video, I'm just going to give you a very quick um, demonstration. It will show you some of the powerful um, things that your customers and subscribers um, can do by building mobile apps for um, iOS and Android. Okay, so the first thing to make you aware of is everything is completely customizable. So I can just click a button and I can change how the app icons are laid out. I can bring a side menu down, put the menu down at the bottom. I can change the whole color schemes. So now I'll just give you a, a quick run through of the features. You can push notifications. These can be sent um, via, you can send push notifications just to Apple users, you can send them to Android users, and you can send them based on location, or you can just send them to everyone. And what that allows you to do is, if it's a local business, and people can send push notifications to their customers, and if they happen to be in the area, they'll get the message of, it's just advertising, it's basically run by Google, and it's basically AdSense for apps and location. You can put in your local business location or your business location and it will give you directions in the app to that address. RSS feeds, which is an extremely powerful feature. It's great for anyone who has a blogger blog, WordPress blog, Tumblr, or anything that runs RSS feeds, even YouTube RSS feeds. And it'll display all that content perfectly uh, within the application. See here, this is how it's going to how it's going to display. Um, next, I want to show you. We'll just load up the Android here. Scroll down. I'll show you coupons. The coupons are very powerful because everything in this app is dynamic, which means once I have created my app and I submit it to the Google Play Store or Amazon or the Apple App Store, when I add in content from this dashboard to this app it will automatically sync across um, to the app user. So I could add in a coupon, send a push notification to let the user know we've added in a new coupon for a product service. This is a load the card program. Again, I can change the design as I want. You can do a card, you hand this into a shop, they click it, that's the stuff that's gonna take place. There's a special uh, verification code that only the, your client or whoever you built the app for will know or staff will know. They'll enter in the code and then it will stamp the card for them. So once they get six stamps and they'll get a free coffee or whatever it is you've decided this loyalty card is for. Again, once again, you can completely change the design so you can have it branded towards um, the local business or company who you're building the app for. Next we have Amazon Catalog and what Amazon Catalog does is it allows users to enter in a keyword and it is going to build out um, products based on that keyword and it all goes through their affiliate link. So I'll just show you quickly what I mean. So these are all the products, it's for Chuck Norris obviously and they can buy it now. You can change the description, anything you want, you can add into here. So. The truth about Chuck Norris, 400 facts about the world's greatest human. And you could add in more to your description. Now this is for Amazon products. If you have an e-commerce store, or you know people who have an e-commerce store, they can put their entire catalog into a mobile app. We also have it hooked in with iTunes as well, through the user's affiliate ID, so they can display anything that's on the iTunes, the iTunes store. And we're hooked into all the major social social networks. Um, for example, like Instagram. Let me show you real quick. So that's the way the Instagram would display, and then people's photos. If they click it, they can create a slideshow and click play on the on the app. It's all sort of touch screen interface. So that's Instagram. It's the same with um, Twitter and, and Facebook. You put in the Twitter ID, it'll bring back the latest information, show more tweets, you can customize all this to be exactly the way the way you want it. Um, video gallery, again very easy, I'll just show you 
it will display YouTube. Now on an application this will turn into full screen so I'll just give you a quick, quick look at the video. And you'll notice I've got a range of different icon styles, it's just to show you the kind of way that you can style your app. So in the video gallery, well, if you want to add videos, you can add from YouTube or you can add your own. So if you want to add from YouTube, just simply you can search, you can search via playlist to pick videos only from specific playlists. You can just do a normal search or you can do um, a channel search. Go to bring back that channel, pick the videos you want to display. Done. They're added in. You can change the description of the video. You can change the title of the description. Now again, when you've added, when you've built your app and you submitted it, as you add in videos here, they'll also update in real time. So say you wanted to add in more videos, you never, you don't have to regenerate your app and submit it to the app stores again. Everything you do here syncs across to the user's app that they have in their they have in their pocket to their phone. So you can send a push notification. By the way, we just added a new video. Link the push notification to the app page to the page that it's on in the app in your phone. We've got opt-in forms, so that's squeeze pages, mobile squeeze pages, and that's maybe if you want people on your app to join your email list as well. And vice versa, you can build an app for people on your email list. You could build, turn membership sites into an application so you can give your customers not only an online members area, but an app on their phone so they can access your tutorials or videos and then it gives you another form of communication with them. Uh, is, this is a static page and I'll just show you real quick. What this effectively is, is anything that you can do in HTML, you can add into your application. So any, you can, we have it via, via text, but if you want to add in um, any HTML, you just need to copy and paste it in. Just click on the HTML button and paste it in. I mean, you can use our text editor, you can bold, you can on bold, you can underline, you can italic, you can change the font size, family, and so on and so on. Add in images and whatever. Or if you want to get some custom HTML done, maybe for a flyer you want to put in your, your app, then you can do that as well. And as I gain, if I make a changes here, I don't need to regenerate my application again and submit it to the app store. I just need to click and save. And then I would update it and it would automatically sync the updates across uh, to the app that the user has. How image gallery so you can upload images, maybe screenshots or photos that have been taken up a hotel room, the restaurant, the coffee shop, and um, hairstyles, gardening, just whatever you can imagine. You can have your own photo gallery. You can book a table. There's loads of services online opentable.com this integrates with it so people can make a table reservation you can display menus from the popular menu um, websites online uh, order food there's a ton of massive sort of hubs where people go to now like justeat.com where they can go and order food this now works where you can now display that businesses just eat sort of order page menu etc within the app so that you just open up the app and order their food directly from within the app. It's appointment forms and um, name, email, appointment date, time etc and then when they hit confirm it'll be sent across uh, via email. Um, email us, so let's click the email, click the call. So we have a massive amount of features.